Ah, welcome viewers to another episode of Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands. Here we are in the White Sands area. Uh, I'm not sure if the map says that. No. It doesn't say anything about White Sands, but that's where we are. And uh, we are on the border, border with the Red Sands areas. Let's go over there. I don't know from where we would get the initiative to go there. Maybe we thought that one of the villages was in this direction. But you got to go to the the villages to get support for against, uh, if I recall correctly, Dragge's army, which is going to invade and aren't they going to destroy the city or something like that? I don't know. Anyway, so you can see the the sand is red. That indeed it is. Uh, yeah. What the heck? I'll bring up the map, show you that. Not that if you are playing the game, you obviously you can do that for yourself. But, uh, yeah. What the heck, you know? So, uh, we'll go over here. And we are in a fight. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some AoE about now. Nine defilers. What are these guys? Wild moles. Yeah, we gotta worry about these defilers first thing. Losa. I don't think we really have that great of offensive spells. That's something I'm going to have to work on. Uh, oh, it's a little area of effect. Oh, that'd be helpful. Too bad I didn't get it on everybody, but... What the heck, that'll probably help her own even more. Uh, let's see, these guys obviously, like any good mob will want to go after our magicians. But the joke's on you, they're not pure magicians. Anyway, they're still weak enough to die easily. And, uh, it doesn't look like the defilers left bodies. <laughs> Oddly enough, I, I guess they were ethereal. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is weird. Um, let me bring up my map again. I thought there was going to be something here other than somebody who tried to kick our butt. Uh, hmm. Damn it. You know what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll just walk around. It doesn't matter, you know? Uh, it'll be useful if I find that person later, but there's supposed to be a merchant there or something. I don't know. Whatever, but that's not the point. That's not the reason why we came here. We had a reason for coming here? What? What are you talking about? What is this reason you speak of? So I think you saw the obelisk over there, maybe, off the side of the screen. Uh, I don't think it's over in this direction. Another Fred Flintstone wheel, but no, it's an obelisk. Don't say Fred Flintstone wheel. You're breaking the RP! Well, anyway, let's go talk to this guy. He looks like some kind of madman with his... No, I don't want to shoot him with a missile, I just want to talk to him. What's, you know, okay, so it's kind of funny that the first option that it brings up is fight. I think that tells you something about an old school RPG. Well, not this game, because it seems like every time I look, you know, every every time I, I like realize, hey, well, hey, I'm reading this long text again. <clears throat> Alright, let me, let me get ready here, crack my knuckles. Well met, travelers, I am your servant, Notaku. Excellent, a servant. What forces you into these desolate wastes? Um, I escaped from slavery. Then welcome to the freedom of the desert, where survival is determined by your friends and enemies. We may have common interests. Uh, what are you saying? What are you suggesting? I am a merchant dealing in certain hard-to-acquire goods. My customers are eccentric and unpredictable. In short, this is a high-risk, high-return venture. Uh, what do you want me to do? A simple task to see if you are a uh, trustworthy and capable partner. I have a client, Father Garen, who is in need of the pith from a Ranique tree. That wasn't his inflection. I was like trying to read that. I want you to take some to him. Uh... I'll take the pith to Father Garen. 
Excellent. Like, details, I don't need to know. I mean, it could be to kill people. What the hell do I care? I'm an escaped gladiator. What do you expect me to be, like, a friggin' priest? Excellent. Deliver this bag of Renique tree peat pith. <sighs> Tongue twister. Or maybe it's just me. Uh, to Father Garen in Tea Kettle. That's a village northwest of here. Yes, Tea Kettle Village. Major point, apparently, in the game. Return after you have done so, and I will pay you handsomely. Um. Yeah, okay. Damn, I was hoping for something a little more. Just in terms of. What is this? Oh. What, could we not pick it up again? Uh, what? Well, it's ridiculous. Cornet, got it. This Cornet. Uh, bag of pith. Okay. I thought I freed up room in my inventory. Maybe that's what happened with that other gem that I thought I got and didn't get. Back in, uh, the farmer's thing place. I forget what it was called. It wasn't all that big of a deal. Uh, God, I keep pressing M expecting for a, a map. Why is it that I do not get a map? Uh, well, that's clearly a fight. It would be, you know, it'd just be convenient to only have to press one button instead of three. Well, that's clearly a fight. Orange dots are NPCs or monsters, as the case may be. Oh, this is the guy we want to talk to. See, there he is now. That's the merchant. God, we are walking fast. You must be the ones who escaped from the arena. I've heard of you. My name is Algernon. Do you want some flowers, Algernon? I've always wanted to meet a member of the Veiled Alliance. Uh, do I know you? No, but I know you! <laughs> Exclamation mark. I've always wanted to do my part for the cause and all that. Now's my chance! Uh, what are you doing here? I've wasted, I've wait, wasted, waited, I've waited years to be contacted by the Alliance, but nobody ever came. When I heard about the escaped gladiators, I picked up my things and ventured out to find you. I am a scribe. Uh, okay. My knowledge of magical devices is great. Ask me about any item and I will elucidate. Are you interested? Yes, I am interested. Uh, um, God, what do we have? Wands. You possess a magic wand. Please, let me see it, so I may tell you of its powers. Show me the item, so that I may identify it. Wand of missiles. Wand of missiles have... Wands of missiles have put many good bowmen to shame. However, they have limited charges, and many have expired in the course of battle. Dagolar's wand. Dagolar controlled his foes with the wand. He made them watch their fellows perish while they were helpless to intervene. Use it wisely. There are a limited number of charges left. But I can't even see you when I'm talking to you. It's so creepy. I guess I have weapons and armor. Uh, swords? Blood wrath? This looks like a ritual sacrifice item of the Templars of Tech 2 Tactical Clay. Its blade is magically sharpened. You better pierce the hearts of the Dragon King's victims. Alright, this is Quickly becoming boring. Um, uh, wait here. Fine, I'll be here. I myself only possess one magic item. I would like to donate it to the Veiled Alliance to help them save Athos. I hope it helps. It's a wand that can detect metal up to 60 paces away. It's very easy to use. Well, I also found this gem on the obelisk to the north. And you took it. You are welcome to use it to it, as long as I have not no need for such things. I got, what? Why? No, stop! Now, why does it just drop this stuff on the ground? You're really messing me up. I guess her inventory is full again. Get. I don't know when you actually use that, but, you know, what the heck. Don't really need that wand of missiles. Let's give that to her. I got a lot of useless crap. I've just been waiting to sell it. Um, probably don't need this slave pen key. Is it worth anything? Uh, no. Yeah, pretty sure that uh, the usefulness of that 
is done. Oh, what is all this crap? I don't need this stuff. All this tells you is that um, these this symbol means it has some quest usefulness, I think. Um, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, all these details are tiring me. I tire of this ceaseless onslaught of details. I am tiring. Good thing we walk quickly. So, I, yeah, those last, what, like six Let's Plays I've done all on the same day. And the reason for that is, uh, for some reason, DOSBox uh, just won't open in the same place on my screen two times in a row, which means that I have to do a lot of tweaking to get, you know, not not that kind of tweaking. I'm saying I have to mess around with the screen and everything to get uh, the recording field in the right position. So, it's a bit bothersome. So the next place we're going to go is Tic Tac to Clay Village. We needed a thing from Red Sands to help us uh, get in there. I think we could probably get in there other w anyway, but we might have to knock some heads or something. This way we can just get in without incident, more or less. But uh, that would be something for another video. That's amazing how little we accomplished in a video. I don't think that's a complimentary uh, nod to this game, but th it's not unusual. If you watch Let's Plays of role-playing games, you know, not a whole lot happens in a given video, but it all adds up. That's the thing. Oh, boy, I am tired. Many videos in one day. Well, that is it for now. Next time, we will go into Tic Tac to, to Clay Village. I don't know exactly what we'll do there. Because I haven't played this game before. I'm just kind of like figuring out one step ahead as I go. So that's that. And, uh... Yeah, uh, so from there, we'll do something. But that's where we'll be. Tic Tac to, to cl cl Clay Village. And, um... Ca -ca 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 so for now, um, yeah, this is Bezlinier signing out of another episode of Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, viewer.